Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Echoing the Greats. And as you can see, we've made quite a bit of progress on Monkey Farm's Second World LP Base Recreation. Um, I have the next level dug down to the bottom. And we don't have to do any more digging until we get to digging this center area out here. So what I need to do now is, since I've got all this dug out, is I've got to replace all those walls down there with wood. Um, and Monkey Farm uses a certain texture pack. It's a modified version of the John Smith texture pack. And obviously we are not using that texture pack. Um, so I'm probably going to do most of this in the pack that I'm using now, which is the Faithful pack. I've modified it myself to give it the clean glass and change the gravel. But... Uh, Probably going to do most of the work in that texture pack, but I think we probably will pop into the John Smith pack and take a look at it every now and then. Uh, just to kind of make sure you know that we are on track with making this thing look right. But uh, what I'm going to do today is I want to get started working on that water area over there. Uh, I need to get rid of all that water and dig all of that out. And I want to get the half slabs on the upper level laid out properly. Uh, they kind of come out back toward the center in a half circle. And uh, then they do, I believe they do the same thing on the next level down. And then under that, uh, the area is dug out pretty far down, all the way to the bottom of the ocean. Now I'm going to have to do a lot of digging and some terraforming and changing uh, the land around there because I didn't quite white put this over far enough so the water is supposed to come just a little bit further into well the water actually stays out but the the area itself the, that's uh, dug out the uh, viewing area if you want to call it that comes in just a little bit further than what it does there so I do have quite a bit of work I'm gonna have to do over there uh, so I want to do that and I also want to get the half slabs around the upper level uh, in place um, all those half slabs along the top of the glass there actually are supposed to be extended out. I think it's another five blocks. So that's uh, 55. It's another 55 or 57 was the radius of that circle. I'm going to look that up again and figure that out. So I'm going to do that today and replace that wood and we'll get started working on the water area get rid of all that water first and I'm going to start by putting the glass panes under the water down to the ground level there and uh, so that I can get rid of all that water and then we will be ready to do whatever digging we need to do in that area so I'm going to get down here take down this column of gravel <laughs> I love doing that it's just a cool little trick Work some sand, gravel. Just think it's neat. So, yeah, I want to start with. What do I want to start with? Which would be easier? Do you think the half slabs would be easier? I'm thinking the half slabs would be easier. Then again, the wood might be a little bit easier. I just repaired my pick the other day, yesterday, uh, just for this purpose. So, I'm going to go ahead and start with the wood. And I'm going to keep, I guess I better keep all these on there. And I shouldn't have to worry about anything spawning in here, so I think I can put the tools away. And we're going to need that, and we're going to need that, and we're going to need that. So let me have, oh, not up there, down here. Thank you. <laughs> all this stuff here, ready to go. So, first thing we need to do is start digging out all the stone and the dirt and the gravel. And this should be seven layers down if I could hit that block. So the wood there is one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven. So seven layers from that layer, or from that level down to here. And all of this down here, all of this stone and gravel, needs to be taken up and replaced with dirt or grass blocks. Um, and I have quite a bit of grass, so I'll probably use all the grass blocks I have. And once those are gone, I'll continue with the dirt. Um, I should have plenty to fill all of this in. And then at some point in time, I'm going to need to get started on the mob spawner. Um, I have this thing here in the center kind of dug out in kind of a pyramid type of formation there. It actually looks kind of cool. 
I think. It kind of gives me an idea. I think it would be really cool to build this same type of structure, this large round structure here, and have a massive pyramid right in the center. And at the very top of that have a beacon with the beam shooting straight into the sky. I think that would be a pretty cool build. Um, I think it would be a neat base, a neat kind of uh, main base for somebody, um, even with or without the glass walls. <laughs> So yeah, anyway, got a little distracted there. I'm going to go ahead and go over here and start knocking out all of this stone, just like this. And I'm going to replace all of this with wood. And I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and see if I cannot get that copy of Monkey Farm's modified texture pack. He does have a download available on his website and I will put a link to the video that he has that gives you information on where to download his customized version of the John Smith Texture Pack and we will get that pack installed and we will take a look at everything we have so far in that texture pack so I am going to go ahead and do pretty much all of this wood off camera as soon as I have it all in place, I will come back and we will take a look at it in the John Smith pack. And then we will get started on those half slabs. So stick around, guys. All right, I'm back. And it has been a very long time since I recorded that last segment. About three weeks, almost a month. Uh, I've been busy doing a lot of other stuff with the unnamed server, a lot of things behind the scenes, and just with life in general, haven't really had a whole heck of a lot of time to record, and I had said I was going to get started again and get moving again, and then other things came up and just kind of slowed me down, so hopefully I've got everything taken care of, and um, I'll be able to get back to recording regularly. Now, you might notice a little bit of difference in the textures. I did say that I was going to get the John Smith Texture Pack, the modified modified version that Monkey Farm has, and install that. And we're going to take a look at everything in here in that texture pack, and that's what we are using. You can get that texture pack. He does have it available for download on his channel, so you can check out his channel. Look for a video talking about his customized John Smith Texture Pack, and you can find the download in the video description. I'm not going to link to it directly because it's not my pack, my modifications. Um, just go to his channel, look for it. You can find it. Not hard that find, not hard to find at all. <laughs> Yeesh. Okay, so yeah, um, you can see I got all that wood in place down there, and um, the bottom area down there is all grass now. And I've put all kinds of torches in to keep things from spawning in here, and we're doing pretty good. Don't have anything spawning or showing up or sneaking up on me, so don't have to worry too much about that. And I'm probably going to go ahead and do the rest of this base in this texture pack. Um, instead of using the Faithful Pack, even though I do like the pack, the Faithful Pack better, this Texture Pack uh, used to be my favorite. Um, I use it all the time. It was the only one I ever used. And then I started using Faithful. I'm not really sure what transpired to make me want to use Faithful. I think I wanted to get a little bit closer to the default Texture Pack. But I really don't like the default Texture Pack because it is so low resolution. And um, I started looking for something that was very close to the default, but in higher resolution. And that's how I discovered the Faithful Pack, and that worked out really well. Um, I really like the Faithful Pack. It has become my new number one favorite. So anyway, the area I want to work on is this over here. And um, I have a screenshot up on my other screen, and I need to get some half slabs. I'm going to have to get rid of all this water. So what I want to do is I want to figure out exactly how this needs to be shaped because these half slabs that I have over here that kind of stop right here um, come out from this wall at some point in time in a specific pattern and it's a little bit bigger than this I believe so I want to figure that out and then I want to put some glass under there because I need to figure out how deep I'm going to need to dig this area down um, obviously this is not the optimal position um, this area isn't deep enough and I'm going to have to do a lot of digging. And I did put some dirt over here so that I can place the glass under all of these half slabs all the way down to at least at that point. Then I can start getting rid of the water. And I'm probably going to do a lot of that work off camera. Um, I'm going to start doing some of this work off camera here. Uh, 
a lot of the mundane stuff that doesn't really need to be on camera. But the interesting things, like the mob spawner I have to build there, um, the chicken cooker, uh, and all the other stuff. I'm going to try to do as much of that on camera as I can. But the actual construction of this thing, uh, the boring stuff, as I say, like putting all that glass in, getting rid of all this water, I'll do that off camera so I don't bore you to death with it. Um, and yeah, so that's what I'm going to get started on. Uh, I need to get some half slabs over here. I'm going to throw some half slabs down, try to get the shape of that thing correct, at least for now. Uh, and he has living quarters underneath the area there, and there is also a, uh, a beacon over there. So we're going to have to do a little bit of wither skull hunting and fighting a wither so that we can set up a beacon over there. And again, I am doing this 100% in survival. And let me turn my sounds down just a bit so that the chest stuff right and that's what we're going down to. Yeah, 30% sounds good. Should be good enough. I'm going to have to make up some half slabs, it looks like. I think those 18 are all I have, so I'm going to go ahead and make up a few. And uh, then I'm going to start putting them in place over there, trying to figure out where I need to put them. Just for the top level, and underneath that, I'm going to have to look at other screenshots. And uh, take a look at, yeah, okay, I think I'll go ahead and end a pearl over there. And, well, not quite where I wanted to go, but it works. <laughs> so, let's get some more of these over here. I'm not, probably not going to need that. Put that there. I think we'll be all right. Okay, so looking at the screenshot, it looks like it comes out. Oh, let's see. There's the three. It looks like it comes out right here. It goes out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll go mm. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ooh, and nine. Mm. So we're going to do that on the same in the same area on the other side, if I can figure it out here. Uh, I think it was off of this one, right? Let's see here. Uh, one, two, yeah, then there was the two there, then these two, and it comes out right here. So again, nine, right? One, two, three, four, yeah, okay. One, if I can get it, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, and Nine. Those should match up. And I don't think they do, so let me check this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one more. There we go. Now they match up, and let's see, they don't go straight across, do they? No, it actually it goes out five more beyond that as well, because of the way it's curved around. So I'm going to go ahead and add five more. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and starting on the ninth one. So this would be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right here. And I need to go, let's see, ninth one. Actually, it's on the tenth one, so right here we'll have this one right here, and it's stacked up like this, and it looks, if I can get out of the water, <laughs> I'll put one here, no, not that one, just like that, and it curves around, I think I'm doing this right, and this all out here is, yeah, from here, one, two, three, four, and then one, Two, three, four, and this platform curves all the way around on both sides. Let's see. Go out one more. Knock that bottom one out of there. Just like that, and then it goes. Looks like two. Go ahead and knock this one out here, right there, and then just like that. And we can take those two out down there. This curves all the way around. Then we got two, 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 three. And I really should get some dirt for temporary blocks. So let me drop down here, pick up those half slabs, and run up there and get 
stack or two of dirt. Okay, I'm not running the risk of losing half slabs. Not that it really matters, of course, but it is what it is. So let's grab some dirt here. I think one stack should do it. Go back over here. This way I don't have to put half slabs down as temporary blocks. That hole was bothering me. <laughs> and let's see here. Back to the top of the water. And I can't wait to get rid of all that water. It's very annoying. So we got that here. And if I can keep them falling. Then we put two more. Just like this. Oh! Well, that was not fun. <sighs> that was not supposed to happen. I'm not really sure what happened there. I was holding the shift key. I know I was. It didn't seem to work. I don't know. Maybe it was because I was on a half slab. I thought I was on the dirt block. Anyway, put two more there. And we'll drop another dirt block in place here. One, two, just like this. Now, this is the inside, so we should be all right. One, two, one, two, one. Okay, and then put another dirt block right here. Because then we got three. Oh, that must have been what happened. I must have dropped onto the half slab and fell off of that before. Okay, and then it looks like it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven across. So let's put dirt block there. One, two, ah, ooh, that was close. Since we moved the server, I've been getting a lot of block lag lately. Two, three, four. Very frustrating. Five, six, seven. Let me just do it here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just do it that way. That's a lot easier. Okay, and then we go back toward the other side. We have three here. And this would have been easier if I would have done this before I dug all of this out. <laughs> but, oh well. And if I remember his early LP videos, that's exactly how he did it. He laid all this out before he started digging everything out. But that's alright, it's more of a challenge to do it this way, right? This is, after all, a game of survival. So let's see how well you can build and survive. <laughs> One more. And that goes just like that. And just like that. And this is not coming out right. Go figure. <laughs> Actually, I think I put those half slabs there in the wrong place. They're supposed to be over about three blocks. So that was my fault. And uh, this one. Um, they might be in the right place. I'm not sure. Let's see here. Got one. Another one here. Now they're in the wrong place. I've got them in the wrong place. It goes just like that. And then this should go starting from right there is where those should be. And uh, actually they're not. Ah! Phooey. I'll just go just like that. And you can see I have them in the wrong place, but that's okay. No big deal. Let's pull her up here and move them. So we take that one, that one, and that one. Leave that one in place. Take these three, four, five, however many there are. <laughs> and they just go back just like this. Right here is where I should have put them. I don't know. For some reason that just doesn't seem right. Actually, I know it's not right. So what did I do wrong here? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right? Eleven in the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right. And then right about here. This should be the center line. But it's not. Two, three, four, five, six. It's off center. Alright, so. I'm going to have to figure out what I did wrong. So I figured out what the problem was. And when I place these half slabs out here in the corners, I place them on the outside of the perimeter. 
and that was not where they were supposed to go. They were supposed to go on the inside, and I've taken them all up from the outside, moved them all to the inside, and now I've got to replace all the glass here, just in the corners. Um, I've got to move it. Let's see here. Where do my glass panes go? Right there. Um, it's got to be this way, and this is why that wasn't matching up. That's what the problem was. So let me throw a half slab up there, and then I can just bring the glass panes back down. So I'm going to have to do this all the way around, and I'm going to leave the ones, um, the half slabs on the outside up there, uh, because those get extended out pretty far, and I don't really think that there's any need to take them in. So what I'm going to do is go through and put half slabs on the inside of all of these corners up here, and I've got to knock out all the glass in the corners and essentially just reverse it. Um, it's out here now to knock it all out and stack it on top of this block here. It's no big deal, nothing major. Um, I was pretty sure that the dimensions of the circle were correct to begin with. And, uh, so yeah, I wasn't too concerned about it. I figured it was going to be something absurdly stupid like this. Just a dumb little mistake on my part, but you know. Nothing major, just a little time consuming to fix it, but not that big of a deal. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and get all this glass straightened out, everything put where it's supposed to be, and then we will come back. And then I will try laying out those slabs again, and this time they should match up. So stick around, I'll be right back. All right. I got all that glass fixed and uh, all those half slabs out there put in the right place and I relayed these half slabs out and they work perfectly now. So that's all it was. It was just my mistake uh, when I set up the perimeter and started to prepare uh, for the installation of the glass. These blocks right here, I had actually started on the outside of the circle and put them all the way around on the outside when I should have done it on the inside. So I've got that all taken care of, and hopefully I've got all the glass panes black and back in place. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, anyway, hopefully I've got all the panes back in place, and I'm not going to have anything sneaking in and blowing up on me like a creeper. So I tossed some torches down here to keep anything from spawning up here, and I checked it all out, and this is the proper layout. So, now what I've got to do is take all these half slabs in the center here out because none of these exist. And of course, I'm going to have to get rid of all this water and uh, put some glass panes all the way down to the bottom of the ocean. And I'm going to have to do a lot of digging here and a lot of digging because. I'm looking at the screenshots and running around the map, and uh, it's pretty deep right here. It goes down pretty far, and because of the differences in terrain, um, this was not the ideal spot for this build, but it does the job. So, yeah, anyway, it's just a lot of work, no big deal, and I'm not sure about these slabs. Do these slabs come out? Uh, I think they do as well. I think they come out all the way around because... None of that exists, and this wall is going to end up coming out anyway. Um, all of this in here is going to come out, so I'm not going to worry about digging all that out until I get rid of all this water. And I want to place some glass panes underneath here, all the way down, coming off the bottom of these slabs, all the way down to what we got here. Let me pick up all these slabs. A little dark down here. I don't have the brightness turned up very well. Uh, normally I keep it at pretty high when I'm recording, but I just haven't really been sticking to that a lot lately. But that's not a problem. I just want to get a lot of sandstone here. That's cool. I can always find something to do with that. Yeah, so I've got a lot of work to do around this area. But according to the screenshots, this is right. Um, I was looking at some torch placement he had. And let me get over here so I'm not bobbing up and down. Uh, but one torch was placed right in the center, and there were two torches on either side, and those were two blocks away from the next area. So we've got that all straight. So it's looking good, looking good. So what I've got to do now is figure out, take a quick look at something here, uh, figure out where the 
because there are more half slabs on the outside here. They go all the way around. This walkway goes all the way around. So I need to take a look at how this is done. So we have right next to this here. Um, there's nine and then ten. Coming off the side of this, it goes out five, which is what I said last time, right? Where is my two, three, four, five? I'm used to my texture pack. I've modified the uh, pointer, cursor, whatever you want to call it there, the little crosshair in the center. And I changed it to a different color. It was white, and it tend to get lost a lot. As you can see, it kind of gets lost in some of the colors, uh, especially looking at the half slabs. And I had changed mine to a different color, and whenever I looked at certain blocks, um, it would automatically change to a different color again. Um, for example, I had colored it yellow, but when I looked at, say, half slabs, it might turn to kind of a grayish color, and I'd still be able to see it. But unfortunately, that doesn't happen in this texture pack, so I'm losing the cursor a lot. And there goes another train. <sighs> okay, so... From here on out, it looks like we've got half slabs that go all the way out, and they just come back one block from there. And it looks like one block from here. So, put that one right there. And then it's two blocks back. And it looks like that goes just right across just like that. And that is how that side is done. And in the center here, and this is kind of tough to do looking at the screenshot. This comes over. Looks like it meets up right there. And then it goes out one. That looks right. Mm, I'm looking at the screenshot backwards. <laughs> um, it's The way I took the picture was as if I was looking at it this way. And... I'm trying to put these blocks in looking at it this way, so it's a little tricky. But all these should be filled in with half slabs. Just like this. And let's see, from that two, looks like it goes up one. And then it looks like, just like this. And I think it goes over three. That's what it looks like. And then, not here, just like that, and it goes over another two. Looks like it does it again as well. Just right there. And all of this is filled in. And that is one thing about Monkey Farm. He has often said in his videos that he is very fond of building with half slabs. So this build is going to use a lot of half slabs. <laughs> And I mean a lot. So let's see, three, then uh, two across and two across, and it looks like it just kind of does one right there. And I think if I'm doing this right, it should be just like that. And it goes one, two, it looks like four, right? Uh, two and one, yeah, and then four. I think that's right, three, four. We should be getting kind of close to the center here. Looks like there's seven coming across the center, so I'm going to take this one over here. And then this one should be one, two, three, four. That should be center, sure is. Five, six, and seven. Okay. So far, so good. And this is a little bit different than what I'm doing here. I'm just going to fill this in right now, but on the lower level, there's another level beneath this. He has the beacon placed, and this is all raised up, but I'm going to go ahead and fill this in. And, uh, yeah, okay. Interesting. So, this way I can get... Is this right? Yeah, three. Okay. Now this is where we get to the other side where we have to start kind of measuring it out. So it's four actually. This might be a little bit. Oop, don't want to fall. Just like that, and then these go all the way back. And this is so tricky to do, and this should still be centered, right? No, I goofed. 
Okay, I want one too far over here, so that means all those are too far. Ha ha ha. Um, actually, just these. So those two that come out. Is that right? I'm going to take one too far out. This one needs to go back. And that's so frustrating. And there we go. I see what we've got to do now. That comes out. I don't know. This just doesn't seem centered here. Okay. I'm, what am I doing? Okay. <laughs> Wow, okay, um, yeah, uh, this is quite a bit off, that should be three out from there, and three out from there, that's right, uh -huh. and then it goes, actually, that should be correct, I'm looking at this funny, I'm not really sure what I'm doing, here. let's see, <laughs> and this is one of the problems I have working from a screenshot. It's it's really difficult to really do it, you know, just right. That should be out three from this part. And it should be out that. Oh, that's weird. I don't have these laid out right. <laughs> So, we're looking good over here, and that is correct, and that is correct, and that is correct, and that is correct, right, yep, then it's one, then it's one, then it goes over four, and then we got this part right here, and I don't know why I knocked those back out. Two, three, four, and five. Just like that. And now we are back on track. So we'll go ahead and put that one there. And this should fix it up. I think I had it right to begin with, didn't I? Hard to say. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, let's see. And is that correct? That should be right. Uh, let's see. Three and four. Yeah, we're looking good. We're looking good. We'll get it figured out one way or another here. Um, I think we got one too many on that side. It's hard to tell because there are other half slabs on the lower level. It makes it a little difficult to see. And this should actually be one on that side. It's supposed to be seven, seven across from the center, and that goes there, and that's where we should be good there. So yeah, and this just seems a lot narrower than what it actually is. Well, I guess not. It's right. All right. So starting on this side, do the same thing. Well, hi, Creeper. And he has a really strange texture for his Creepers. You can see that silly Creeper face going on there. <laughs> um, and that was... I think that was actually one of the reasons why I stopped using this pack. Is I just kind of got... I don't know. Tired of seeing that silly Creeper face. At one time, I even replaced his Creeper texture with the original John Smith texture. Uh, then I discovered that you could have different multiple mobs, different colored mobs, different textures for each type of mobs. And I thought that was really cool. So, okay. Back to where we were. Um, so starting from here, we go out five blocks. Right? And then it goes back one block all the way to the back side here. And uh, let's see, then it's another one block. That's two blocks. Oh, wrong place. So I can catch them before they fall. There we go. And there we go. And we just throw those right across there, and we are good. So we got that side straight. And this is where it gets tricky again. This is supposed to match up right 
there, just like that. Okay. So then we have slabs all the way through here. And uh, it's so hard to do it. One out. And one more. And this goes just like this. So let's fill that in. And here comes another train. Good lord, they're just hammering down the tracks non-stop. They must know that I'm trying to record today. That must be what's going on. This guy really didn't get big on the whistle, though, so... That gets kind of frustrating sometimes. So two, one, and then we got three across here. And then it's like that. And then we got two across there. And that looks just about right. Yeah, that should be right. And that should match up. So let me let's see here. And he's got actually. Let's see here. One. Those are just like that. And this is he has the beacon underneath that. Oh, there we go. Thought I ran out of slabs. Like that. And then this here is gone. Because the beacon beam comes right through there. And let's put a torch here. And let's knock this dirt out of here. Just like that. And that is... Should be correct. That is how it works. Let's take a quick look over here. Let's grab some dirt and fill it up. Take a look at it from higher up, and it should look okay. Hopefully it'll be centered and uh, <laughs> match up on both sides. Let's get a little higher. I'm going to have to get pretty high, I think, to see this. So we'll go until we don't have any more dirt. Two, one. Place a torch there. And let's see here. And as far as I can tell, it looks like it matches up. So we should be good. Yep, sure does. So yeah, that's what he's got. That's how that looks. So now all of that uh, sand, dirt, the water, everything, and the cobblestone over there, all of that in the center is going to be gone. And it has to be taken down all the way to the bottom. So some of the uh, wooden wall area down there is going to come out. And at the very bottom level, I believe, is where he has the sleeping quarters. So that kind of comes out curved a little bit. I think it kind of follows the contour of this upper area here. And, uh, yeah, so what I'm going to have to do is go into the actual map itself and kind of take a look at it from about the same location, as close as I can get anyway. I'm not really going to be able to get in the exact same spot because right about here he has a big mob spawner. But other than that, as far as I can tell, it is looking good. It matches up on both sides, so we should be good to go with that just the way it is. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and call this episode done. I've got those half slabs in place now. I'm going to do some more work off camera. I'm going to dig all that area out, get rid of all that water, put glass panes under those half slabs there down to the bottom of the ocean, and dig the ocean down as far as I need to go. And also around the outer perimeter here on top of all the glass panes where all those half slabs are, I'm going to go ahead and extend those out to the proper distance. I think they go out about five or six, maybe seven all the way around. So I'm going to put all those in place. I'm going to do all that off camera. Uh, just place in half slabs. No big deal. Everybody knows how to do that. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel if you are not a subscriber. My name is Angry Canine, and I will see you next time.